All right, I've gotten a lot of questions about some of the um, problems I sent you over the email. The biggest question is about the blood type pedigree. So I decided to make uh, a short video to go over this uh, since it'd be the easiest, easiest way to do it. So keep in mind that this pedigree comes off of the example from figure 14.11 that's shown here about multiple alleles, which is a form of complex inheritance. And you can have uh, there are three alleles for the blood type we're talking about, IA, IB, and little i. And remember, you get two alleles, one from your mom, one from your dad. And depending on the arrangement of alleles will depend on the blood types based on the carbohydrates that they code for. So to be type A, right, you can have homozygous IA, IA, or you can be heterozygous for IA and little i. To be type B blood, you can be homozygous for IB, IB, or heterozygous for IB, little i. To be type AB blood, you have to be heterozygous, have IA and IB. And to be type O blood, you have to be homozygous for the little i's. And these two examples, okay, the type AB and O, are kind of what you're going to look for, the keys that are at the star, by the way, the keys that will uh, help us determine this pedigree. So let's look at the pedigree. And basically what I'm asking you to do is here are some uh, pedigrees, they're children, and they give you some of the blood types. And I'm asking you to determine the genotypes of uh, individuals one, to, one through six. And one thing to keep in mind about this is that these alleles are not sex linked. So the sex of the individuals don't really matter at this point. All right, so in pedigrees, you wanna kind of work backwards. You don't wanna start right at the very top of the parents because there's no way you can really tell what genotype they are. So let's look way down here at the very bottom, all right? And you can fill in the genotypes, uh, the ones that at least you can figure out and know. So we know to be type O, you have to have a little i, little i. And we know over here to be type B, AB, you have to have IA and IB, all right? What that means is that each parent has to have a little i because they had a child who was type O and each parent has to contribute at least one of the IAs and the other parent will contribute the IB. And you don't know which parent yet which ha has what, that you can't figure that out yet, but you can go ahead and, and at least write that down and guess. Okay, so let's say individual five has the IA in little i, and individual six has the IB in little i. All right, so we know at least those two individuals, or at least we, we know at least one of them has to have one of, one of those. Okay, so let's look over on this side now. Actually, let's look at our individuals three and four, all right? We have three kids that have type A and two that have type O. So again, we know from the type O's that they have to be little i, little i's, which means each parent up here, three and four, have to contain a little i, okay? The type A, all the rest of the kids have type A, okay, which means they can either be big i or i a, all right, little i, or they can also be the homozygous IA, IA. Okay, so we know that the parents, at least one of them has to have an I big A allele. So uh, we can just give one of them that allele. So let's give the dad the I big A. So we figure out the dad's genotype, and remember what I said in this example is there may be more than one right combination. And I did that on purpose because I want you to really think through this. Obviously for an exam, I'll give you only real one right answer. Okay, so if the dad has I, A, little i, all right, the mom could have I, A, little i, all right, and this individual could be type A, and you could still have some type O individuals. Now for individual number six, remember we worked backward on this one, we thought this one had the I, big B, little i, all right? But let's imagine that we have this scenario. In reality, these two should be switched. Okay, so this individual should be I big A, because now if the two parents have I A and I A, there's no way that this individual could have an I B, all right? So let's blank that out. Uh, it's not erasing for some reason, okay? Okay, there we go. 
and let's cross five out and switch them. Remember five, we weren't sure if five or six, which combination they were, but now we can be pretty confident that six was the I, A, little I. They got the A alleles from the parent, and five is an I, B, little I. Okay, so now we've actually figured out individual five, individual six, individual three, and individual four. All right, now there's a possibility between these two that one of these parents could be in fact, let me draw this in a different color so that we know that there's, remember, there's more than one right answer. So let's make this red. So individual number four could be little i, little i, and individual number three could be i, a, i, and you can still get all these combinations this way. Okay, so this is one of those alternative answers that would also be correct. All right. Okay, so we figured out three and four. Now let's go and look at individuals one and two. That's the only ones remaining. Look at their children. We know five now. We figured out five. One other child is, is type AB, so we know for a fact that they have to be IA, IB. All right? And then they have a child who's B and also A. All right? So again, these can be either homozygous or they can be heterozygous all right, for both. All right, so we know each parent needs to have at least an I, a little I, or one of them has to have a little I because uh, Individual number five has one. Okay. So we do little i. Okay, on one of the parents. We know each parent has to have at least a i a, and the other parent needs to have i b, because they have a child who is type a b. So let's draw that. All right. And now we don't know an individual number two, whether or not what their other allele is. All right. It could be an I big A, all right? Um, it could be a little I. So one possibility is I B little I, and the other possibility is I, oops, sorry. The other possibility is I B I A, all right? And if you do any of these crosses, you'll realize that you can get any of these combinations. Okay, so the, so the point really is not to, to figure out exactly, I mean obviously I would like you to have a good idea of what the genotypes could be, but the idea is to be able to understand these multiple alleles, all right, how they combine to make different blood types, and how you could use a pedigree to figure out those genotypes. So, so you can tell that there obviously are some, are more than, uh, there are more than one possible answer for some of these individuals, but the, the goal is to get you to work through some of these. All right, if you still have any questions about this, shoot me some emails over the weekend, um, but hopefully this cleared it up for you.